In this video, we're going to write a linear equation in two variables that can be used to represent the graph. Alright, so what I'd like to start with is y equals mx plus b. That gives me the opportunity to find the slope and the y-intercept. Well, the y-intercept is usually pretty easy. It's where our line crosses the y-axis, and as you can see, it looks like it crosses at zero. So that means my y-intercept is going to be zero. If you remember in class, we talked about direct variation. This is a direct variation. All right, because direct variation means our line goes through the origin. And there it is right there. So I just need to find, a sl to find the slope part. And we could use rise over run, or uh, we can pick two points and do one two, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I would rather do rise over run. I just got to find where my line here, and I'm talking about this line here, touches, uh, goes through a grid. So I'm going to pick, uh, looks like I can go here. This looks really good. And I'm going to use the origin. This looks good too. So I'm going to go up one. So I went up one. That's positive one. And then I go to the left. One, two, three. So I went to the left three. So that's negative three. So if you remember, rise over run, that's one over negative three. So my, it looks like my slope is going to be... So y equals negative one-third x. And don't forget, my y-intercept is zero. So my equation is going to be y equals a negative one-third x. And we could test this. We could pick uh, a number for uh, x, let's say 3, and put 3 in there. And it looks like it's going to be negative 1, which it is. All right, so this is my equation. Now, if I want to put it in standard form, I could add 3x to both sides because it's a negative. And so if I did that, then I would have something like <clears throat> one third one third x plus y equals zero. And then I'd have to get rid of the fraction, so I'd multiply the denominator to everything. And when I did, I end up with one uh, x plus 3y equals 0, and we really don't need the 1, so I could just say, I could erase it and just put x plus 3y equals 0, and so this is my two equations that I could use.